Does Botox impact your fertility? Can I take Botox while I'm trying to conceive? As a fertility doctor, my patients often ask me these questions, and in today's video, I'm gonna answer them for you. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a double board certified OBGYN and reproductive endocrinologist practicing fertility for almost 20 years and answering my patients' questions every day. I love educating. You can find lots of resources on my website, drlaurashaheen.com. I podcast, Baby Your Best Fertility Podcast, where I interview people and do deep dives and discussions every single week. Links to the books that I've written on fertility and miscarriage and links to my other social media platforms. Learn a lot on Instagram and TikTok. I am here to help. Now in this video, we're going to talk all about Botox and fertility because it is such a common thing that people do injecting Botox, but so many people have questions about whether it's okay to continue while you're trying to conceive, maybe stop when you're pregnant. Is it okay when you're pregnant? Such a common question. In this video, we're going to go over five main topics. Number one, we're going to go over exactly what Botox is. Number two, we're going to go over what Botox is used for. Number Number three, we're going to go over the safety concerns around Botox and fertility and early pregnancy. Number four, we're going to go over what the experts say to do. And number five, I will leave you with what I tell my own patients when they ask me these questions. Let's get started. Topic number one, what is Botox? Botox is an extremely popular product and procedure in which there's an injection that's placed into muscles to relax them. It's most often used as a cosmetic procedure to decrease the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines, but there's other uses for Botox. We'll get to that in a second. Botox is actually a brand name for a product that is a neurotoxin isolated from a bacteria. This bacteria is called Clostridium botulinum. The scientific name of Botox is, and I'm going to have to read this. This is hard for me. Onobotulinum toxin A, and it contains very small amounts of highly purified protein from this neurotoxin. It's made through the process of actually growing this bacteria in a lab and then isolating and purifying the toxin that helps relax the muscles. Topic number two, what is Botox used for? The majority of people use Botox to decrease the appearance of fine line and wrinkles, crow's feet around the mouth. People often get injections every three to four months because that's about how long it lasts. And when it wears off, people get another injection to relax the muscles again. There are other uses for Botox other than cosmetic reasons. And these include treating neck spasms, migraine headache, excessive underarm sweating, and even overactive bladder. Botox is used both medically and cosmetically. Topic number three, what are the safety concerns around Botox and fertility and early pregnancy? Well, it's really two things to think about. First thing, as with any intervention, or medication, there's always risks of side effects. For Botox, the most common things are noted mild headache, rash, bruising, or swelling in the, around the injection area, but also you can have temporary paralysis, you know, more facial weakness or muscle weakness than you're really expecting. It eventually wears off, but that can be a significant side effect. But the most important thing is that we just don't have research proving that Botox is safe while you're trying to conceive or in early pregnancy. There's some research, hard to find, but there are some animal studies showing that Botox injected subcutaneously, like underneath the skin, does not show up in placentas of pregnant animals. And in one small study I could find in the British Medical Journal, there's self-reporting of doctors saying that they use Botox in pregnant patients or not. And of the 400 doctors that responded to the questionnaire, 12 of them had injected Botox into patients that were pregnant. And there were 16 resulting pregnancies. One pregnancy resulted in a miscarriage. Another patient reported a determination and the rest of the patients delivered at term with reporting no birth defects or harm. But that is such a poor study proving safety. It's just that I'm trying to show that there is not a lot of data out there. Topic number four, what do the experts say? Well, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons say that while Botox is not contraindicated in pregnancy, there is no scientific data to support its safety. And the society recommends that women who are pregnant or breastfeeding should avoid using Botox until there's more data. And the U.S. Food and Drug Association, the FDA, classifies Botox as a pregnancy category C medication. And so that once again, 
means that there's not enough data to prove that it's safe in humans. However, because it's a local injection and it doesn't get out systematically into the body, the FDA says that the risk to a fetus is extremely low. So topic number five, what do I tell my own patients? Well, I side with the FDA and the American Society of Plastic Surgeons because I feel like they are the experts in this medication. And if my patient is using Botox for a medical indication, like painful migraines or painful neck spasms, I ask them to speak to the doctor that has prescribed and is giving them the Botox to go over the pros and cons. And for my patients that are using Botox for purely cosmetic reasons, I say better to be safe than sorry and stop using it about three months before you're trying to conceive and don't use it in pregnancy and if you're nursing. I hope you enjoyed this video. We really went through exactly what Botox is and what it's used for, what the experts say, and I finally shared with you what I tell my patients. Like this video if you learned something. Comment with questions that you have. Be sure and subscribe to this channel so you get my weekly video. And as always, wishing you love, luck, and pineapples. Thank you.